hopefully, yeah, mm. we'll make another better record, man. We're going to talk about a single you uh, you released. Uh, can you give it? A, can you give it? Yeah. Uh, what's the story behind the song? Uh, the story behind the song is. Uh, is it, I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory that whether you're able to to give something that, that you put, you know. Mm -hmm. I was asking a question of a friend of mine who went very well, and uh, uh, it turned out he could give it, so it was nice. So. And I watched the video, and what's the, what's the idea of the video? Because I think it was very funny. Um, it was about cheese rolling. Yep. And, um, the thought I had when I first saw the video, I saw the, saw the guy in the, in the motor suit or, or something. And yeah. I, I thought he, a guy who was talking about a motorcycle accident or, or something. No, 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 not in Gloucester. Uh, they, uh, it's like a, it's like a, the whole, the single, the whole thing had like a, a, tr a, a sort of a theme running through it, which was kind of uh, eccentric British traditions. So we, uh, well, you know, not necessarily, but British traditions. So we had the B-sides were, uh, 30 piece colliery band, like an old coal miners band, playing versions of our songs. Mm -hmm. And then we had William Morris, who's a kind of celebrated British textile designer and um, wallpaper designer, was we used as the cover for the artwork. Mm -hmm. um, and it just, we, we, need, we thought we'd, it would work, because the last video we'd done, we'd been in it, and that was the first time we'd done that, so we wanted to take it away from that again. And so, um, it was kind of like a good opportunity to make a documentary, really, and there's going to be a full documentary that will come out as well. So, and it's it's just a it's, it was a bizarre tradition that was worth um, documenting. Okay, so it's a documentary a documentary that you're making or the director from the that video? We we got a director to make because we were on okay. the, uh, we were in on tour and we'd uh, we'd given him sort of reference points and stuff, and then he went off and it was very lucky, you know, the the, the guy that won it was last year's winner. Mm -hmm. And so they'd gone to interview him to talk about what it's like. And then they just sort of followed him and by chance he won it again. So it kind of, there was a real story to the video, you know, which wasn't the intention. It was more just that we wanted to document it and, and make a... I just think it's a brilliant thing that lots of people feel inclined to put their whole body in danger of being really badly hurt just, to run, up, just to run after some cheese. Yeah, yeah. Strange tradition it is, eh? Crazy, man. Really, honestly. Crazy. <coughs> Do you know how old the tradition is? It's, it's hundreds of years old. Hundreds? Like, like, and it goes right back in that during the First and Second World War, they replaced the cheese because of rationing. They didn't have an actual cheese. They had a wooden cheese, like a fake cheese, just yeah. so that they weren't wasting any cheese. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it goes right back. Yeah. All right. It's very weird. It's kind of like May Day, and, you know, the Wicker Man film? You know, it goes, it's, it's all part of that kind of like Western England uh, kind of bizarre pagan tradition. Pagan tradition, yeah. Okay. Kind of like a festival.